What's up everybody, it's your boy Air Evolution. I am coming today with another video for you. So last week we had the new intel of, you know, what's going to be in the game from some of the devs and everything else and from also the animation department. Today I am bringing you a very special treat. I am going to bring you Raven in the Redwoods live stream. Day is dropping right now. As you guys see, we have 5 minutes, 36 seconds. This is the real deal. Alright you guys, listen, if you don't subscribe to me, make sure you do, make sure you smash that like button, very important nowadays guys, and if you have subscribed, guys I appreciate this so much, and I'm going to bring to you this awesome gift. Now let me know what you guys feel about this, do you guys think this is going to be like a solid thing, do you guys think you might show maybe an easter egg, if you guys want I'll do a follow up video. Also, make sure you guys know, when the DLC drops... I will be hunting for the main easter egg. I will complete it that night for you. For you. Alright. Let's get into it you guys. We got four minutes to go. Enjoy. Uh, I really hope, uh... Do you know what I'm thinking? Like, maybe the out scene, I really hope it shows one, like, an intro, but, like, the end and cut scene of Zombies in Spaceland, you know? And then I was thinking, like, well, if they do that, and if it was kind of realistic that you can kind of do it in the game, wouldn't that be what we have to do to actually beat, quote-unquote, Zombies in Spaceland? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that, too, you know? Is there a cutscene? If there is a cutscene, maybe we might see it by watching the intro. It's very possible. I tested a few theories myself, you know, from watching the intro from Zombies in Spaceland, kind of listening to what he said, blah, 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 blah. You know, some stuff is, you said try for yourself, but... I will be searching for that main easter egg, you guys. I will try to complete it. Alright, here we go. 3 minutes, 37 seconds. Show me something cool. And like I said, guys, sorry for the audio, you know, or the video on certain parts. I am streaming from my PlayStation. If you guys want to play with me in zombies, if you guys want to play multiplayer with me, let me know. My PSN is Raven of War, Raven of War, R A V E N O F W A R. Make sure you guys add me. I'm always down to accept friend requests. I'm always down to play games, either it be crunching on Easter eggs or in zombies or you know, killing it in multiplayer. Trying to at least, you know, sometimes I get my ass kicked, but who doesn't? When the DLC drops, you guys, I will have a video also of um, me opening up like 50 plus supply drops. So that's a must watch. Now I'm kind of debating if it should be in zombies or if it should be in straight multiplayer. You know, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I'll see it. I'll definitely get back to you. Like I said, guys, big shout out to all my subscribers, alright? Thank you guys so, so much. You guys really mean a lot to me. Oh my god, people, here we go. Here we go, two minutes. Woohoo! It's gonna be awesome. I need to chomp the light to get myself in the spooky zone while, while watching zombies. With the one, the only, Lee, Le Lee Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Holy shit. I'm, I'm stoked. Hopefully it's a cool uh, stream, okay, and not some, like, crazy shit. But they did really awesome on the last one, so I really hope they, like, break it down again. That was really helpful. Guys, here we go, you guys. A minute and 15 seconds, go! Oh, this is so cool.
There you go, guys. 15 seconds. <laughs> you want to do the countdown from like 10? All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I bring you Raven the Redwoods. Peggy, 18. No way. Oh, wow. And in summer camp. Deep in the woods. Four stranded companions will become the life of the party. We got recast, and the script has been flipped. Zombies, welcome to my party. This looks like a summer vacation right out of a nightmare. Talk about the boonies. Who the hell booked this gig? Oh, wow. Let's play. What? Woo! This is awesome! I guess I didn't know That's the slasher. Like the lambs to the slaughter, eh? I can feel the universe. What? Ooh, look at the colors, man. This <laughs> January, dance like somebody's watching. <gasps> From the rave to the grave. Like a boss. You dead now, huh? Rave in the Redwoods. I guess I didn't know. Kiss your brains goodbye. Holy shit. Awesome. Get the season pass now for DLC packs for one great price. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining the Infinity Ward live stream today. Hope you guys enjoyed that trailer. My name is Ashton. I'm the community manager here at the studio and today I'm joined by two very special guests. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Lee Ross, associate <laughs> project director for Zombies. And I'm Jake Geiger. I'm the art director on Zombies. So we just saw a pretty, pretty badass trailer. Yes, indeed. Excited to finally be able to show it to everyone. I know yes. the, the chat's going absolutely crazy right now. So uh, what are your guys' role in regards to zombies? What do you do here? Well, I'll let Jake start first. Tell us about yourself. Uh, basically, I get to head up the awesome zombies art team that we have here. So, I mean, it's a, it's a great team of guys, and I'm privileged to be able to kind of be able to be the one that steers them in the, the right direction. Yeah. And, of course, he does all the cool stuff, too, like come up with these awesome posters that we make, like the Zombies in Spaceland poster and the Raven the Red, Redwoods poster, which I've been teasing, and I promise to, you know, to put it on my Twitter at some point. Uh, what my role here is uh, at the studio, um, I'm kind of in charge of the whole story of what we're, we're kind of building and, and uh, all these characters. And, you know, I also have my finger in every other little pot, including Jake sometimes and uh, <laughs> the animation teams. And, I, you know, I'm always looking for uh, us to bring the best experience forward that we possibly can. So along with Brian Bright, you know, we sort of oversee this whole uh, big process uh, and we're just having a rocking good time doing it. I know these guys sit across from me and I just hear them going on and on about all this this cool stuff um so this this is in our uh first dlc of the season raven the redwoods is part of dlc sabotage uh it comes out first on playstation 4 on january 31st next week so when we when we talk about raven the redwoods how how has as zombies in spaceland tying into that how does this this flow work well what's really sweet about it is we get to take those four awesome characters that we got to meet in spaceland and we get to jump them into this this next film right uh, they get to continue their story, and we also get to learn more about this really evil director, Willard Weiler. And really, this episode, we want to really tell that backstory to Willard Weiler. We want to tell everybody just how nasty and how bad he is and all the, the terrible things that he's done. And hopefully people will turn around and go, wow, that guy's really messed up. I hope I hope they say that. I hope they say he's he's really messed up. Um, so so let's jump a little bit more into Rave. You've been tweeting some stuff out. We've, there's just been little snippets here and there. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the location. So I think we have a map uh, showing and a logo showing this this new location. So tell me a little bit about Bear Lake. Where did this inspiration come from? 
Um, for that, we, we really, when we, when we started off with this, we had on um, the first map, we had Spaceland. And then for the next one, we wanted to kind of explore a different horror genre. And um, one of the ones that kept coming up in conversations was the sort of uh, the classic like 90s slasher flicks. And so when we started talking about that more, um, the, the general thing that everyone always gravitated towards was you know, it's always the, the slasher and the teenagers and the summer camp and that kind of stuff. And so, um, so that's how we really like grabbed onto that. And everyone seemed super into it. And um, from there it was like, I, I grew up up in Big Bear in the mountains north of, of LA. And so for me growing up, that was like my childhood was yeah. going to summer camps and kind of being in that atmosphere and everything like that. So, um, so it was really fun to kind of um, find all the reference we needed and um, work with all the guys to figure out how to kind of make this map um, not an exact replica of some place, but <clears throat> really to capture that feel. Yeah, that, yeah know, to find the inspiration have, for yeah, it. Right? When, when you go to summer camp and you kind of have that same feeling of like running around the map that you feel like you're there. Well, you guys speaking see of, the, we uh, actually do have the map. character next to yeah. AJ. Um, much like we had for Space Land and the theme park, yeah. uh, we do have a map. Oh, there it is. Right, there it is. Wow. And that is the layout, guys. I mean, what you're seeing there, that's what you're going to be running through. That's what you're going to be checking out. Yep. Uh, Turtle and Island. There's stuff to pay attention to on that map. So when you see it in game, make sure you pay attention to that. Make sure you're checking out all those key locations. Okay. Very, very cool. I know a lot of people are going to want those map folds out like we like we had for space right, and right. there's those posters which is awesome so so now we have these these characters now in this new setting what it's we're in the 1990s so how does this uh change the way they act and the way they talk and, and all that good stuff yeah that's a great question you know this was all about uh us capturing that era and us bringing these characters into archetypes that we felt really established what that time period was you know obviously we're, we're taking players into this rave but you know there was a whole bunch of other character archetypes during that time period so as you guys got to see we're rocking sally as a gangster now that's a big change from her coming as a valley girl where she was you know the soft and sweet girl but sally's a badass now she's going to come in and she's going to be tough she's got the 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 sort of claw nails she's got the finger tattoos going on you know she's got her bandana going on so she's you know she's really stepping it up quite a bit you know and then of course our nerd poindexter you know he's our raver now we wanted to have someone that was true to what we were you know bringing to the table for raven the redwoods so he's going from being this sort of super knowledgeable character to almost someone they have to really pay attention to because this guy might get himself into trouble if they don't keep an eye on him he's really into perk candy and stuff like that so they're keeping an extra special eye on him uh and then of course jay's character the rapper you know, grunge was a big thing in the 1990s, you know, uh, one Ranger of my favorite Trump. bands of all time, Nirvana, man. I mean, we were really trying to capture that feel. So he's got the flannel going on, but he's got another flannel going on. He's got the, <laughs> he's got the ripped jeans going on, uh, the classic Converse style shoes. Um, and his character really, he's going for like a really kind of a party dude, man. So he's stepping away from his sort of, uh, his, his rap persona and stepping into that. And last but not least, you know, AJ, you know, we're bringing him into a completely new role uh, from being the jock. The jock, he was sort of this sort of hot shot, cool guy that was thought he was, you know, better than the rest of the team. But now he's sort of a hip hop wannabe, almost yeah. like Vanilla Ice, really. That's really was the inspiration to creating this character was, you know, this guy who, you know, was kind of street savvy or thought he was street savvy, thinks he's really cool. Uh, he loves his threads. He loves his gold chain even more. Um, <laughs> And he thinks he's a rapper, even though he's not a really good one. And you guys will get to hear some some great VO from him. Uh, I, I put out on Twitter the other day to a couple of people that were asking me questions, but um, I make reference in his, in his VO to uh, you know uh, rap groups like Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. So you know people pay attention to what these guys are saying because we're trying to grab as much uh, reference and material from the 1990s period. So when you're you're exploring this world, it feels authentic to that experience. That's very cool, and I like I like that the characters are changing into that, right? So it's like you're almost relearning them, and they're relearning themselves as they go through this process. So that's 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 one of the cooler things to me, especially since I kind of grew up at the end of the '80s and then into the '90s. So it's kind of cool. So I think one thing that everyone's really excited to to talk to, uh, besides some of the stuff we have coming up, is the weapons. What are the new weapons and traps that we can look forward to seeing? 
Oh, we've got some good stuff. Um, so one of the things that we really wanted to push in this map is sort of that feeling that you get when you see slasher films from the 90s. You know, everyone's not walking around with an NV4. Everyone's not walking around with, you know, shotguns and all that kind of stuff. But what they are doing is they're, they're grabbing melee weapons. They're grabbing anything that they can find to protect themselves. And so as you, as you got a chance to see in the trailer, our, our cast of characters are getting a machete. They're getting a golf club. They're getting a spiked bat. They're also getting a, a double-sided uh, uh, axe, which is super awesome. So we really wanted to push that melee aspect of, of combat. And players will get to actually experience that very early on in uh, Raven the Redwoods. Um, one of the things I, I really want fo folks to know today is that you're going to spawn in with nothing in your hands. There Ooh. is no pistol. <laughs> there is no knife. Whoa. There's nothing. So you're immediately going to have to find something right away and cool. protect yourself. Fists aren't going to get you very far. <laughs> oh, man. I think we actually have two of the weapons um to show there's one of them Ooh, that weapon looks really cool i will say it's going to take some serious work guys to get that pretty thing in your hands so keep your eyes peeled for all the little secrets and easter eggs that we've buried because man we've buried them hard um but you can definitely find these things and they do some amazing things to the zombies cool Ooh. Ooh. that's a nice one awesome i love the the paint job on them i think it's awesome so this is called rave in the redwoods so let's talk about the rave mode. So uh, what is it? Why, why is it? What made you guys want to make this uh, instead of just leaving it as like this dark uh, on this cabin in the woods? What was the decision to have rave? Well, I think rave vision is what we're calling it is sort of it's the stark contrast to the experience in rave in the redwoods. You know, you're walking around this really dark, gloomy, abandoned campsite. And then you jump into rave mode and all of a sudden everything is hysterically colored and bright and just super neon. And it's really uh, uh, an exciting experience to go from this, this darkness into this bright world. But unfortunately, when you go into rave mode, we make it a little more intense and a little bit more and scary. So that guy that we've talked about, the slasher, he's in rave mode. That's and every time you step into rave mode, that guy's going to be there waiting for you. He's going to be you know, coming out and giving you just a little bit of a hard time. You know, you guys are getting a chance to see his concept here. You know, one of the really cool things about the weapon he's carrying in his hand, and you actually get to see it in the trailer as well, he loves to grind that across his metal mask so Ooh. that he can, you know, create sparks and, and, and sort of really freak the player out. I mean, who really wants to rub a chainsaw against their face? The slasher. Whoa. So I think we've got his rave <laughs> more cool. concept. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So this is another version of the slasher that you'll get to see. Uh, and there he is all raved out. Uh, as you can tell, that guy's much bigger. Yeah. Much, yeah. much bigger. So there is a way to uh, sort of transform the slasher uh, into sort of a super version of himself. Hmm. We're going to be seeing a lot on social media, I think, oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> right after this. So one thing I think uh, some people picked up on the trailer was the, the music. Um, can you give me a hint or a little taste of what we can expect? Yeah, so, you know, we want to stay true to the theme of it being a rave. Now, this is unlike Spaceland, where there's a PA system everywhere, and there's a DJ who's, you know, cranking out tracks. But when you're in the rave area of the map, you know, we want to have, you know, tracks spinning up that make you feel like you're in a rave. So even as you begin to approach that area, uh, you can start to see the lights, you can start to see the sound, all sort of the feel of that experience. Um, and you might hear things like Alien Sex Fiend uh, that'll be rocking out there or Crystal Method. So there'll be stuff that takes us back to that 90s period. Um, and I have, to, I have to call him out, man. Uh, Brian Bright, this guy does the music selection for all the stuff that we do. Um, even though we all sort of chime in and give suggestions, this dude owns more music than anybody I know. Like vinyl <laughs> albums, eight tracks, CDs, forget it. I mean... It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. He probably has a, two garages worth of music stored. Um, he is really a, a music buff. Um, so shout out to Brian for the excellent choices that he, he made in Spaceland. And I think you guys will not be let down. If you're into rave music, 90s rave music at all, Brian has hooked you guys up once again. Well, very cool. I think we've got one more piece of concept art. And this is, this is uh, a Sasquatch concept. 
what yeah what what is what is this about oh this is about us really <laughs> trying to play off that woods theme you know one of the things that's elusive that everyone wants to see in the woods is bigfoot everybody yeah. wants to see a sasquatch <laughs> you know they're looking for the footprints everybody's tracking them down well, we had these really awesome rounds in Spaceland where these exploding clowns came out and probably gave a bunch of people nightmares, including myself. Uh, these guys are going to replace our clown rounds. And when they come out, <laughs> they're going to ferociously come out and try to rip your face off. Oh, now, they're, they're far more <clears throat> aggressive than the clowns. And you know what? They're not going to blow up and go away. These guys are going to chase you until you take them down or they eat you alive. Oh, fun. That's Whoa. Awesome. These, these guys were super fun to design. Yeah. And especially having like... The rave mode versions of, of these guys in there it was it was awesome to be able to kind of come up with the idea and then really kind of push that and then make them kind of even oh. more like sort of tribal and creepy in rave mode yeah yeah that's and if pretty you guys cool. notice that they have a rave version of themselves that means that just because you've gone into rave mode you're not safe these guys are coming along for the ride so you got to take them down rave mode won't save you and if you go into rave mode with those guys homie slasher is going to be waiting for you Oh geez, now you're making me <laughs> making me nervous now. And I, I think um, you know, we we've for zombies in Spaceland we had the, this, these awesome posters. We have all kinds of of, of cool T-shirts and designs, and we have a poster to show for finally for yeah. Rave there in the Redwoods. There it is. That's the one we've been teasing all this time. You know, you know, the whole idea was really to not give away the character <clears throat> archetypes too soon. We didn't want to give away the fact that we got this awesome celebrity in Kevin Smith that's joining the cast. Um, but there it is. We wanted to, to let people get a chance to see this thing in all its glory. Um, and who knows? Maybe we'll find a few into people's hands. We'll never know. Hmm, possibly. <laughs> we might do that. Very, very cool. Um, well... Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, you know, as you guys know, watching at home, watching online, uh, we have the DLC next week, the 31st, first on PlayStation 4. So make sure if you haven't grabbed that season pass yet, you do that. And uh, I think uh, I think we should go upstairs and play a little bit. But I think before we go, we've got something kind of cool. Yeah, you know, we love you guys. So we got a little something extra for you guys that will help tell a little bit more of the story and hopefully get oh you guys God. a little bit more pumped because Raven the Redwoods coming this soon. Is going to show Bye how many, we get out of Spaceland. Please, yes it is. Hey, what's with the Letterman jacket? Rave will surely end their silly little existences once and for all. Another question is, when the hell are we? We're not in the 80s anymore, dude. Yo, how about who the hell are we? Grunge, really? <laughs> Looks like I got your old gig, Andre. I don't know about you guys, but at least we aren't in that demented theme park anymore. Yo, shut up, hey? I heard something. Listen. Oh, shit, man. We got zombies again. You have got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> What the hell happened?
Did we get cut off? Dude. Hopefully this is fixed. <laughs> 